guys, it's Pastor Bonnie here and welcome to Northview Kids Online Summer Edition. It is so good to be able to do church at home with you and I hope that you have been having a great summer so far and eating lots of ice cream. Well, we've got another great service planned for you and it has some new worship song and it's got another great Bible lesson with the gang at Big HQ. So let's jump into it. Get on up and let's praise God with some singing. Psalms, Proverbs, and Parables do We're talking about the wisdom here for you. Every book, every page, every storyline. A poetry, history, inspired divine. Wisdom for life, for every day. Wisdom for your soul as you're making your way through the tough times. You gotta trust your God through the good times. You gotta trust your God. Smack bang in the middle is a book riddled with songs and poetry from a kid named David who unknowingly yeah wrote these verses while heroically facing death from a mad king risking life but still trusting. He's God, his savior, his fortress and rock. His shield and protector around the clock. Psalms, proverbs, and parables too. We're talking about the wisdom here for you. Every book, every page, every storyline. A poetry, history, inspired to find. Wisdom for life, for every day. Wisdom for your soul as you're making your way through the tough times. You gotta trust your God through the good times. You gotta trust your God. There are psalms of hope and thanks to him. Psalms of despair when it hurts to sing. Things are bad, stuff going wrong. Then bring a hard phrase and sing a song. Dave's heart stay true through thick and thin. Whether, Whether he was, was a shepherd or a king. Now here's the message we have for you. God loves you, no matter what you do. Psalms, proverbs, and parables too. We're talking about the wisdom here for you. Every book, every page, every storyline. A poetry, history, inspired to find. Wisdom for life, for every day. Wisdom for your soul as you're making your way through the tough time. You gotta trust your God through the good time. You gotta trust your God. Yes.
Amazing job worshiping, friends. I love worshiping God together with you. And I hope that you love worshiping God too, wherever you are. Jesus deserves all of our praise. Now kids, our big idea today is we have victory in Jesus' name. Can we say that together? Are you ready? We have victory in Jesus' name. Let's watch a video now and learn from Audrey what it means to have victory in Jesus' name. Are you ready? Let's do it. One, two, three, go! I'm Audrey. Hi Audrey, what are you doing? I'm having a party. Is it your birthday? You will just have to wait and see because I realized something today about the people in the Bible. They were real people. Okay, right? We read about battles and wars and huge armies and it's easy to forget the crowd is full of families and people with real feelings and lives. King David was a warrior but also a dad who showed lots of emotions. Tears, laughter, excitement, and everything in between. He loved a celebration, so it's time we had a celebration around here for Max's birthday. That is a good reason to celebrate. Oh, shh, here he comes. Happy birthday, Max. Happy birthday, Max. Wow, thank you, everyone. But my birthday isn't for another month. What? Audrey told us it was today. Well, I guess I just got a little excited, and I love birthdays, and happy early birthday, Max. I won't say no to a party. I got carried away thinking about King David when he threw a big party as he brought God's special ark back into the city. He was so happy and thankful to God that he ended up dancing in the streets. People said he looked crazy, but you know what? He didn't care what they thought. When my team wins, I celebrate. I don't care who's watching. That's exactly how King David felt. He was so excited, nothing else mattered. Psalm 96, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. I don't have a new birthday song for you, Max, but we can celebrate. Is it time for cake yet? Oh, of course, Max. Mm -hmm. This one. King David was on a mission a mission to retrieve the Ark of God and bring it back to the city of David. The Ark of God was a large, beautiful box covered in gold. Inside were the two pieces of stone with the Ten Commandments on them, Aaron's staff and some pieces of manna. They were symbols of God's leading and his protection. This mission came about because one day, years before, the Israelites were facing a battle against the Philistines. They said, let's carry the Ark with us into the battle for good luck. But things didn't go to plan. The Philistines won the battle and captured the Ark. The Ark of God was so powerful that the idols the Philistines worshipped fell over in its presence. The Ark of God wasn't in its rightful place and the power of God's presence wreaked havoc for the Philistines. The Ark of God must not stay here. How can we send it back to the place it belongs? After seven months of being in Philistine territory, the Ark of God was put on a special cart and take him to Abinadab's house on the hill. There the ark remained throughout the judgeship of Samuel and the reign of Saul. Years and years later, when David had become king, he made it his mission to return the ark of God to where it belonged. David assembled the best of his best from the army of Israel to recover the ark of God. David led the parade. Everyone was singing at the top of their lungs and playing their instruments. David was dressed in special priest's clothing and he danced with great abandon before God. They brought the Ark of God and set it in the middle of the special tent that they had pitched for it. 
Then and there, David worshiped with all his heart. David blessed the people in the name of God and handed out bread and cake to everyone. It was a praise party. A good party needs cake. David's family were a little embarrassed by his dancing. In God's presence, I'll dance all I want. Oh yes, I'll dance to God's glory, more recklessly even than this. And as far as I'm concerned, I'll gladly look like a fool. Psalm 96, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let the sea resound and all that is in it. We have victory in Jesus' name, just like David. We can celebrate and give God the glory when great things happen. Dance, sing, praise God when situations turn around. God's word, the Psalms, give us wisdom for life. I love celebrating with my friends, either a birthday or when they have done something amazing. But even more, I love to celebrate Jesus. We have victory in Jesus' name. Just like David, we can celebrate and give God the glory when great things happen. Dance, sing, praise God when situations turn around. God's word gives us wisdom for life. Hello. We have victory in Jesus' name. We have victory in Jesus' name. We have victory in Jesus' name. What a great message from God's Word, the Bible, friends. As Christians, you and I have a great victory in Jesus' name. 
And I don't know about you, but I want to be on Team Jesus. And sometimes it can be difficult and hard, and sometimes it's fun and exciting, but all the same, I want to be on Jesus' team. Now, if you want to be on Jesus' team too, then I invite you to talk to your parents or a trusted friend in your life. Well, the time has come for us to do our big word dance. Now really, this is just a fun way to do Bible memory this summer. So let's get to it and get memorizing. Stand on up and let's dance it out. It's time to see just how well you've been paying attention. Are you ready for... Max's Big Quiz! Okay, Max, there are nine cards on screen. We need to find three cards that match today's story. Which number card shall we choose first? Let's try number eight. It's Audrey's birthday, so she's having a party. Close, but no. Is it your birthday, Max? Yes, but she was a little bit early. We, we found one. one. Is number six from today's story? Every good party needs a couple of chairs. I don't think so. Is number one from today's story? That's a cool looking dance. I wonder why he's dancing. It's King David, dancing to celebrate God. We, we found, found another, another one. one. It's the double, double trouble, trouble round. round. Audrey was having a party and the party was on a boat. That didn't happen. Mm. Audrey had cake at her party. You know what that means? We, we found, found all three! three. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, we did yeah. it! Yay! <laughs> Max's big quiz! I'm gonna clap, clap, clap my hands. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap my hands. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap my hands. Cause God is so good. I'm gonna stomp, stomp, stomp my feet. I'm gonna stomp.
All right, that is Northview Kids Service for this weekend, and it was great worshiping with you and learning something from God's Word together. So come on back next weekend as we check in again with the gang at Big HQ and learn another biblical truth through a big idea, all to help us learn how to be disciples and a follower of Jesus. We're going to pray now, and then we invite you to close your time together as a family by pausing the video and answering the questions together that are up on your screen. All right, let's pray and talk to God. Heavenly Father, you are so good to us. We thank you for leading us and for loving us and for helping us by your Spirit. We thank you that we have victory in your name and that you invite us to be on your team because you are the winner and you have victory, you have conquered all. So I pray as we go into this week now that you would walk with us and talk with us and remind us that we have victory because of you. We pray this in Jesus' name and all God's children said, amen. All right, bye friends, we'll see you next week. See ya!